In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to build the most basic Android app. Maybe not the most basic, but a very basic one. There will be an event handling app, however. So you'll have a button and a text view, and when the user clicks on the button, it'll tell him how many times he's clicked. Um, pretty simple, but very indicative of Android apps, because they're all event handling apps. They all respond to things. Um, and this app may be the most important one you, you learn, because it'll kind of set you up for building all kinds of different apps. So anyway, let's let's get started. I've got Eclipse open, and I've set it up to have Android um, and the SDK loaded into it. I've also opened up an emulator, and I'll show you how you can em uh, open that up. But I can test my apps and see how they work right in this emulator. It's basically like a phone. So I'm going to choose Eclipse, File New, and choose Android Project. And for my project name, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it click count, because I'm just going to count how many times the user clicks. And I'm going to choose Android 2.1 as my version. Um, what you want to do is choose as low as possible, so most phones will be able to use your app. Of course, if you use advanced features of you know Android higher versions, then you better choose a higher Android version here. But I'm going to choose a low one, because I'm building a very simple app. Um, for my package name, this is kind of like a backwards URL. So I'm doing a bunch of samples, and I put them all under this kind of App Inventor domain, and so it's samples.appinventor.com. Anyway, it's just a, a name which kind of organizes where I put my apps. And I'm going to say Finish. And what Eclipse does is it creates my app. It's called Click Count. And I can actually just run this thing right now by clicking on this green uh, button up at the top. I choose Android application, run it, and what you'll see over here in my emulator is it'll it'll start running here in a second. Um, there it goes, and it's very simple. The default app that Android builds you is just you know basically Hello World, so it doesn't have our button or any of that kind of stuff in it. So in this first part of, of my sample. I'm just going to build the graphical user interface. I'm going to put the button in and put a text view in and, and have it show up over here. I also, also just wanted to mention, if I didn't have my emulator up and I clicked this green with the white arrow button, the emulator would pop up. But it takes you know it takes 30 seconds to a minute to pop up. So I, I brought it up earlier before I started the, the sample. So I'm going to go into Click Count Project. And the way you build UIs in app in Android is you go to RES resources folder layout and you open this file called main.xml. I mean, you can name that whatever you want but by default it's called main.xml. And you can either build your GUI graphically like with the interface builder and drag things on or you can modify the XML directly. You can also build it directly in Java but we're, we're going to use the XML way and we're going to use the graphical tools. And I'm just going to drag a button in, and I'm going to grab a text view, except I'm going to grab a medium-sized one. Okay. And then once you have these guys, you can set properties on them. I've got my tool set up so the properties are down here. So I've got button selected, and I can go down and change its ID if I wanted. Right now it's named button 1, which is fine. But I am going to change its text property and it's down here and I'll choose it and I'm just going to have it say click me. This is just what's going to show up on the button and so that property's changed. And then I'm going to go down for this text view and I will change its ID. I'm going to call it result text view just to give it a more descriptive name because it's going to tell us how many how many times the, the thing's been clicked and then I'll change its text as well to give it a default initial version. It shouldn't say medium text, it should say zero. So right now, it's hard to see, but you get a zero here in the text view and a button that says click me. And if I run this app, I need to save my file, of course. And now if I run it, um, it's giving me an error. Oh yeah, there's this weird error with Eclipse. If you haven't opened up your Java code, it will create this weird main.xml file and basically give you this strange error. Just delete that thing 
what I'm going to do is open up the Java code, even though we're not yet going to code it. And there it is. And now, for some reason, if I run it after opening up my Java file, um, everything will work fine. And so right now, it's installing my app. And what you'll see is the app named Click Count. It's got the same Hello World theme. And it's got this button. Of course, when I click the button, nothing happens. So anyway, this is part one of my sample. And all we've done so far is take the default app that the Android SDK or Eclipse gives you, and we've added two graphical objects, named them, and also set their text property. In the next part, I'll show you how to make this button actually behave and change the number.